Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. How are you doing? We're going to be... What are we doing? Well, <clears throat> we're unmarking this uh, village because we're not coming back here probably. The sure... The sure is done. We're done with the sure. Um, settlements. Oops, I always make that mistake. All right, so we've got a few other locations in mind. Um, we can also get rid of Brown Shumish. I don't think I would ever go to Brown Shumish unless unless asked. So we got here Shesh Palace, um, Flaming Tarpets. We should I should really unmark those. Um, oh, we have a Dursashur. I guess we already did Dursashur, right? If it's not marked, then I don't have to go there. We have to go to Shawar. I don't know what our reputation with Shawar is. Sha Villagers of Shawar. Um, 360. I'm pretty sure that was one of the villages that had an annoying quest. Sense memory. Uh, oh, it's just a vast animus. That's fine. We can handle a vast animus. Oh, they have friends. Oh, there's quite a few things going on here. Oh, there's quite a few things going on here, actually. All right, well, hold on. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and kill uh, that novice of the seeker over there. Oh, they didn't die, actually. Good for them. Happy for them. Um, then we'll just come over here and shoot this lad. Is there maybe a legendary? You haven't found any points of interest, okay. There's a Dromad Caravan, but they're enemies to us. Is That's quite curious. Kind of don't want to deal with any of this, to be honest. That was a nice hit. Um, let's turn Clairvoyance back on. Um, yeah, I kind of, I kind of don't want to deal. I'm not, I'm not going to deal with this. Oh, we have life saps. Let's just turn our force bubble back on. I mean, I can turn clairvoyance back on, but there's no point because we're leaving that. We have a greater voider. We got some ogres. Oh, we have a purple gel. We are hungry. Um, can we leave? We can leave. All right, let's, uh, let's go down here. Oh, uh, it's gonna that's gonna take us right into the path of rainbow wood. We don't want to do that Swell with the inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal. We are lost vast animus all of those things. Ooh We have a star kraken Pato's strix of the bosk and a psychic thrall star kraken um, 2000 health we actually get to know the, the how much health something has now. I wonder if like can we can we look at like shale? Yeah, shale. We we get to know how much health that shale has, which is fun. Um, let's just go ahead and kill this lad. Sunder their mind. I don't think I want to tangle with the star kraken. I don't think I need to tangle with the star kraken. This guy knows how to burgeon like the best of them haven't gotten any ego for a long time i know it's only a 10 percent chance but we've we have fought a lot of seekers of the sightless way and not found not gotten any ego for our efforts it's a bit of a bummer not too much of a bummer but a bit of one um we need to find someone who will tell us how to become unlost there we go never mind we're good all right so, um, I don't know why I necessarily came here, but let's see, uh, who do we, who are we handing in a quest to? Not this one. Um, <clears throat> Weinstein Frond the Sensible. Um, did we share a dram? Hated by the Cragmensch and Antelopes. Loved by Villages of Shower and Vines. I don't know if I shared a dram. Apparently we did share a dram. A dang shame. Um, okay. 
Uh, okay, this isn't the person who gave us the, the quest. It's probably... I already visited it. Did I visit the Tinker? I wonder if I already completed the quest for this place. It's kind of starting to feel like that's the, that was the case. Hmm. Well, that's annoying because um, they uh, Shawar. What is this Shawar? Villages of Shawar is only at three hundred and sixty. So, in order to get this place to over eight hundred, we're gonna need to use like three metamorphic polygels. It's just not worth it. Um, Kakuka is kind of up there. Narkashur is up there. I don't know where Narkashur is. I don't think we've discovered Narkashur yet. Urkawar. There's actually there's a ton of villages that we haven't discovered yet. I wonder if maybe Shawar would tell us where some of the other ones are. Nope. They don't even have any uh, secrets to share with us. How does one discover um, where, you know, the location of other villages? You, you would have thought that by now I would have discovered them, you know? You would think that. Um, well, yeah, this one's kind of a bummer. Um, we didn't i don't know if we completed the quest with it let's have a look at our quests golem snapjaw fort return to suba ball did we do the quest for suba ball where's suba ball what is our reputation with suba ball isn't that the one that we uh yeah we're at 970 we don't need to uh Super Ball is like well and truly done. Um, and we already made them a candidate, so we don't have to worry about that one. I kind of wish I could get it off of our quest list. What about, uh, okay, Sugar Pad. Sugar Pad might be a candidate. Let's look at villagers of Sugar Pad. Uh, they're only at 215. So even if we complete that quest, we're only going to be at like maximum 400. Oh, jeez. There's quite a few villages in, um, you know what, you know where we should go? We should go home. Like our home home. Where is that? Um. Where, where is my original recoiler? Ezra. Um, did I like get rid of it? Baroque ruins. Karuk. I, I wonder if Karuk would be a good candidate. Did we make friends with you? Hated by the villagers of Tad. Did we just make Tad? Aren't we on? Aren't we on very bad terms with Tad? Yeah, we don't care about Tad at all. Uh, hated, loved by the villagers of Karuk. Okay, so did we share a dram? We did not. So Karuk is now officially like up there. And we can share some gossip. Amazing. Okay, so they're they're actually like a candidate now. Um we can check to make sure that there are no other people that we can make friends with. I kinda doubt it generally there's only the one in these villages. I doubt that even the warden is going to count. Oh, loved by the Fellowship of Wardens. Admired by the Kar villagers of Karuk. Did we not make friends with this one? We probably didn't because at the time I didn't have any oil. So now... Oh, that only raised our reputation with wardens. Ah, oh, that's kind of a... Wait, did it? I feel like it shouldn't have. Oh, wait a minute. I guess that maybe I already shared a dram with them. What's going on? Karuk? Village of Karuk? Where, where is it? 560. I guess it's a little bit higher now, but not that much higher. Um, village Tinker might have some rep. Nope. 
Okay, well, um, we've clearly already completed all the quests here. So I would have to just be okay with... It's going to be like another two metamorphic polygels, isn't it? Okay, well, let's just let's just get it over with. Like, there's other candidates for sure, but honestly, the best I can hope for is that we only have to spend two metamorphic polygels to uh, get over 800 reputation with a village. So, you know, that's kind of like the cost we're looking at here. Okay, so we've got two spare um, Schrodinger pages. Entangled text, villagers of Karuk. Where is Karuk? Right dead in the center. Karuk. That's so annoying. <laughs> We're just, just shy of 800. And I just got to make sure th 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 that doesn't count, right? Oh, it does count. Oh, no. Did I use a metamorphic polygel and I didn't have to on that last or a, a Schrodinger page? Okay, so maybe it's only over 700. Okay, that's that's cool. So we're at six now. Um, let's check out some other villages. Let's check out Kenalil. What's what's my rep with Kenalil? Kenalil is at... Oh, actually, it is a candidate. 545. Um, probably I have already shared a dram with anyone I could have here. Disliked by the villagers of Shawar. Well, that's fine. Oh, yeah, we actually didn't. I, I guess uh, I might not have um, had the water bonding skill when I made friends with this one, this village. Um, did I ha take a quest from you and not complete it? Doesn't look like it. Let's check out the warlord. See if they've got some reputation. Do you have some reputation? No, you don't. Um, doesn't, I think I've already probably completed the quest here. Oh. Disliked by the villages of Karuk. That's fine. We've already done the, the slint. I don't think it retroactively undoes the slint if you lose reputation with them. So now we're out close to 600, um, making this a wonderful candidate for a Schrodinger page. We already have one ready to go. Um, let me just double check. This is Kenalil. I just don't want to make... I want to make sure I don't accidentally entangle with the wrong people, you know? So Kenalil right up there. So we're at 815, even by my old standard, my mistaken standard, uh, we would still be over the line here. Um, who's the mayor? Is it Ogawagohu? In my travels, I encountered the people the Slinth. Please accept them. So now we are at nine, uh, sorry, seven. Hope of wishful thinking. We need to, we need to do this with three more villages. I might just be able to do it in this episode. Let's check out Siroku Grove. Probably it is nothing. Yeah, it's it's nothing. Hostiles nearby. I truly disagree. What do you mean there are hostiles nearby? There's no one nearby. Um, let's check out white something something something. Um, nothing here. So we can take those both of those off. Um yeah, we can take... What about Tega, Tega Rook? I don't know if I visited Tega Rook. Oh, I clearly ha must have. Very close to um, Red Rock. Wait, what? That's not true. What? Settlements. Where's Tega Rook? Six west and six north of Red Rock. Shugapad, Shaman Homestead. Is this it? 
Oh yeah, there it is. What's her what's her reputation with Tigarook? Um Oh, uh, they're they're actually a pretty good candidate. They're, they're we're close to 500 with uh, Tigarook. Let's see if uh, we can bump that up a bit. Um, Elder the Sensible, hated by fish. Did we share a dram already? Yeah, we did. A bummer. Um, could talk to the village apothecary. Did I accept a quest and not hand it in? I don't think I, I think I probably did the quest for these people a long time ago. It's been a while. Like some of these, some of these villages I've, uh, you know, I visited like 30 episodes ago. Okay. So I'm not really seeing any way to bump up our, uh, reputation. So we are going to have to use our, some more metamorphic polygel. I'm hoping we only have to use one here. Let's let's hope. You might be you might question my method here, but you can't really question my results. It's uh it's working out for me, you know? It's working out very well. Um this is Tega Rook. Tega Rook. Ah shoot. Even uh, okay, we'll we'll double check. It might be enough. Ah, you've done much for Tegarook. You have my thanks, friend. Confirm Tegarook as a sanctuary option. Perfect. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more villages to go. We might actually get this done today. I'm excited for this. Shemish. Let's check our reputation with villagers of Shemish. We're only at 100 for with Shemish. Not enough not gonna that's not gonna cut it uh there's karuk we've already we've already done karuk kenalil um super ball we've done sugar pad what about sugar pad uh we're only at 200 with sugar pad but you know i might not have done any of the you know diplomacy stuff there Purple Ispilateral Kag Kagalev. Sure is, um, sure is a lot. Wow, you. Sap actually withstood a, uh, a blow from my, my linear, linear cannon. Lin liminal cannon? I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we completed everything we could here. Just like the cats, villages of Kakuka. Hated by the villages of Kapad. How's our Kapad rep? Kapad rep is fine. They're not a candidate, so I don't really care. So let's go ahead and share a dram. Okay, that actually bumps this place up to, like, kind of a candidate. <laughs> they would teach teach me swimming, huh? That's interesting. Um, let's see if there's anyone else here that has some reputation. Nope. Oh, this is the village merchant I clanked on. Fun. Such memories, you know? Okay, Apothecaris, uh, nothing much going on there. Uh, okay, so we got no... I haven't located the... The K Kishrim Root Mutt Orchard. Okay, so we have a quest to do here. It's the one right there. Locate the Kish... Oh, right. <laughs> one to four parasangs west of some forgotten ruins oh why did it have to be some forgotten ruins oh god oh that's awful oh maybe we know where no there's no way we know we, if it, we knew where um Shiremut, uh, orchard was it would tell us it would have a little check mark next to it um, still, it would save us a metamorphic uh, polygel if I was to complete this quest, so I'm gonna try. But how in the world are we gonna find that? Like, none of the Forgotten Ruin things say, like, important. You know, none of them say, like... N none of them are, are noteworthy, as far as I can tell. 
I, I kind of wish it would like have a note next to it that's like this is this one is relevant to the quest of uh you know this look how many forgotten ruins we have oh my god okay so here's here's my hope my hope is that it's the forgotten ruins closest to where we are right now i'm gonna put them all on for now Oh, I hate, I hate it. Village histories, huh? What does that even look like? Huh? Um, gossip and lore. I'm just wondering. Okay, so there's not really any forgotten ruins near us. There's a couple here. Let's try... I guess those are those might be the ones I've already tried. Let's try Northeast. And I'm gonna... What I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and equip ourselves um, with a pickaxe. And then we're, we're just... We're, I'm not messing around here. Um, I think it's F3 is dig. Seriously not messing around. We're just, um, in fact, I'm going to get rid of this and we're just digging. We're digging. Um, I'm, I'm just going to go straight shot as quickly as I can through all of this. Y'all can't say I don't work hard for, <laughs> for my content, you know? Uh... Can you, can y'all like, please not? Uh, I might actually, since we're in the canyons, this one time I'm going to go ahead and turn, um, let me see here. Automation. Please ignore enemies less than easy, which is everything now, basically. Unless it's an extra dimensional thing, it's, it's, n we're not bothered by anything. I mean, I guess I'll stop for a legendary, but I don't see one here. I just see a lot of snap jaws. Wow, there's just a lot of snap jaws here. Carrying too much. Good, good God, this is not how I want things to go. Gigantic pump shotgun. <laughs> we took. <laughs> we got a gigantic pump shotgun. Um. I guess we are carrying quite a lot of stuff. We're going to disassemble that. I, you know, it's funny. It's it's hilarious. But I'm not carrying around a gigantic pump shotgun. I'm sorry. This pig is going to follow us. Is this... Was that a slug snout? How the mighty have fallen. Or at least no longer become relevant. You're famished. I don't care. We're going to dig until we're dead. Don't let that be foreshadowing. Uh, anything cool on this? Oh God, look at, look at them all. You discover a Shire. Okay, well this isn't really what we wanted, but. Um, how far away are we? We gotta, we gotta cook some food. Look at all the Snapjaw warriors. It's just wild. Um, there's a campfire already. Let's eat some food and check the map. Um, I think it's one to four Parasangs west, so unfortunately, it's, we're not, we're not there yet. We can't really give up on that Forgotten Ruins. And like, this is the thing, right? Is it could be literally any Forgotten Ruins. It could be any of the Forgotten Ruins that I have information on. And there's like 20 of them. I really doubt that it's a Forgotten Ruins like out in the middle of the moon stair. But, you know, it's not impossible. 
I am guessing that we have now shot past um, the, the the line, the limit. Even with ignore creatures like less than, you know, easy, whatever, this is still really time consuming. Okay, we must be. No, no, we still, we could still. Uh, northwest. There could still be like one tile. Ugh. Oh, uh, Snapshot Warrior had a frost grenade. That's kind of fun. Please, guys, just leave me alone. I, I am actually like tempted. I, I, I wouldn't mind grabbing that mod that's just like if you're like several levels above the thing then it just won't bother fighting you stop it stop attacking me I don't I don't wanna okay uh I feel like we're we must be done now yeah we, we, we're, we're done um at least we're done with that desert canyon that one was on oops we found Sawan cranial this is just a ruin oh there's a, it's a ruin with some books i mean that's kind of you know I'll, I'll i'll accept some books i'll always accept some books oh an illuminated book as well um so this one this forgotten ruin was on the north side uh this forgotten ruin is just in the center so it could be a candidate if they were both on the north side then basically like one of them would have been pointless <laughs> i love the little burrowing sound effect where where it is possible i may as well just like travel clairvoyance is really um making the canyon feel like a joke which is nice i don't know how much um how much effort i'm willing to put into this quest only because it it just feels so like impossible Okay, you guys need to go away forever. Like, because there's so many candidate <laughs> quest markers, um, I'm just like, uh, is is it like I could it could literally be the last one I check. There's ways to kind of narrow it down. And you know, like I'm checking the ones closest to the village because they're generally pretty like lenient on like how far you have to travel away from the village but you know it's not impossible for them to like point you into like the middle of nowhere um kishramut orchard when is the seven pair sings west of yeah i mean honestly just like it's a good thing that um I'm doing this now where I can just kind of ignore everything else. Boop. Ah, we found it. We found it. Heck yeah, bud. I am very grateful that it was easier to find than I, uh, I feared. Okay, so then now we go back to this village and we talk to Egloctopus, I guess. Uh, nope, that's not the one. Who do we talk to? Titonia? I've located the Kishramit Orchard. Complete the quest. We gained 100 reputation. Um, might not be enough, but who knows. Uh, so then I'm just going to check. Who knows? Maybe they'll take them now. Okay, no, not, not not yet. So sugar pad, um, let's go down to make sure I have a spare. If I don't, okay, we go up to applicators, poly gel, apply. 
miscellaneous. Okay. And then go back down. Double check, sugar pad. I just got I really don't want to accidentally use this on the wrong like it, it's so expensive to to make these, so Okay, we're at 635. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Okay, um, so we're at nine. We just need to do one more village. One more village. Um, what is a good candidate? Oh, let's turn off all those forgotten ruins. I, I no longer have to worry about forgotten ruins. We're good. This is where Hunter Z's uh, map pin mod would be very good. Okay, that's it. So then, um, we just need like one more village. Did I already do this one down here? Shawar? We did Shawar, right? Villagers of Shawar. No, we didn't. And they're actually pretty up there. I think that might have been another village candidate um might might not be true but let's give him a go anyway what is this oh yeah serum i kind of wanted to check out these things reach of the cold lamb of Beatles. oh it's just an orchard okay and serum hold it's just another farm okay so we'll go to this one shawar well oh right i just did this didn't i so that's why I didn't do that. That's why I didn't make them a candidate because I have, they don't seem to have any quests, right? I'll double check literally everyone to make sure. Watch yourself. Uh, nope. Check the tinker. Nope. Okay, yeah, they, they they can't be a candidate, really. Or at least there, there's got to be a better candidate than them. I have to believe there is. Okay, um... We did Kenalil. We're not... We did take a Rook. We did Shemish. We did Karuk. We did Sugarpad. I need, uh, I need, like, one more village. Unless I want to spend like two metamorphic polygels on Shawar, I guess uh, out of pure laziness, I'll do that. I, I I have them right here. Let's just get it done. Let's just get it over with. This will be like we, wow, like I'm not gonna have any more metamorphic for a while because I'm gonna have to go buy some more. I suppose since I, uh, no, I, that's not true. I'm not, I was playing with the idea of keeping a metamorphic and then just using the last two of those Schrodinger pages, but let's be real. The Schrodinger pages are far more valuable than the metamorphic polygel. So I'm going to go ahead and use the, the last of my metamorphic polygel and then we're going to double check its shawar and then I'm going to go ahead and use one of these and tangle text villagers of shawar. And then one more. Villagers of Shawar. I guess the other, uh, I mean, it's too late now, but I could have like maybe done Villagers of Ezra. Nope, Ezra doesn't like me. What about Eid, Eid Freehold? Denizens of Eid Freehold? Daughters of Exile would have been, no, nah, honestly, this, this is still like the best candidate. Shawar. All right, let's go talk to the mayor. Not them. That would be Weinstein Frond. Um, I encountered a people, the Slinth. Confirm Shawar as a sanctuary option. Done. That is now ten. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Did it? Done. It is done. Let, let's go to the hydropon and uh, get that quest finished. And that's a, another achievement for the books. I would say one of the more, 
I wouldn't say it's necessarily difficult, but certainly it's time consuming. Um, let me just see here. Settlements. So I, I thought I had the hydropon uh, listed. There it is. Also, I'm just going to go ahead and turn off the rest of these pins because I don't need them. And all right, we go to, oh, we got lost and we found a psychic presence. Wouldn't it be awful if we died here? That would be truly miserable. Um, it's a extra dimensional Kraken. Let's just turn on our, uh, looks like, um, oh. They tried to burrow in our head. They failed. What kind of... We still get 850 XP from some of these Fardim. An extra dimensional Kraken is like really kind of a bummer because uh, they're going to have like 2000 XP or something insane. Right? What's What's their XP? Yeah, it, it is almost literally 2,000. I don't think I really want to deal with that, so I'm just going to leave. There's a lad over there trying to make enemies with me. Just, I'm just beating up some Spartan, don't mind me. They're actually very good XP. Like, absurdly good XP for my level. So, it is, like, very worth it. I do wonder if maybe there's some, um... Some layers I should check out. But, like, what... What the factions do I still care about? I've got the, the major ones. Maybe tortoises? If I, like, want to go to, back to the moon stair. But, I don't know. You can let me know in the comments. Ooh, is that a legendary? No, it's a fungled. Haven't seen too many fungled uh, Lake Hinnom or Palladium Reef. All right, we're good. We go to the Hydropon. Good, we go to Tha. Hello, Tha. Oh, we still have our uh, pickaxe equipped. Um, make our stinger. I don't know if the stinger is really that good anymore, but I don't know. All right. Moon and sun. Any news of our future home? Yes, I have news about the Slint's, the Slint's Sanctuary. I have made my inquiries. It is time for the Slint to choose a new home. Um. I don't know how this works actually. I, I kind of don't want to get this wrong. So if you if you don't mind, I am gonna look up the the the, the quest. Slint. Um. Landing pads is the quest line. I'm just curious how like do I choose? Success is determined by whether the player is revered by the settlement leader's faction. Oh, I see. So it might actually be a variable. Um, Mechanimus approval can be bought. Yeah, but I didn't know that the Mechanimus could be a, um, an option. Who represents the, the Mechanimus? Um... Hmm. Potential locations are Jopa, Great Gate, Six Day Stilt. Really? 
Oh, is it? Isn't it? Um, Zazapur represents the six day stilt or something weird like that. Pariahs. Tomb of the Eaters, the Mapango Enclave. How come it's, it lists the Mechanimus as an option, and yet I don't know who represents? Oh, it says that it's the High Priest of the Stilt, is, it counts, but I thought I talked to them. I, I don't get it. Um... Okay, well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say, have, you know, made my inquiries, it is time for the Slint to choose a new home. Thank you, I will tell my kin of these places. We will convene and discuss, and we will, uh, choose. Please be patient in the meantime. Uh, I would usually go and do some other stuff, but I'm very interested in the reward here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass some time. Oh, we're lost. Hey, buddy. Wow, oh, that, that actually hurts. Get out of here. Okay, force bubble on. How are you doing such a good job of getting through my force field? Sappy Reef Hermit. What is happening? Is there, like, are you holographic? How are you teleporting around so much? These guys count as uh, trivial, by the way, apparently. All right, I, I don't want to, I don't want to mess around with this. It actually kind of hurts. Like, all of that sucked a little bit. I like how we have, like, one little tiny corner of force field left. Regain our bearings. Okay, so, um, boop, 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 boop. Just passing a couple of days. Okay, let's see uh, if they're ready. It is time. After some discussion and uh, deliberation, we have come to consensus. The Slint shall become citizens of Subabal. We shall learn the practice of re uh, resorbing matter. Hold a law enforcement security card, dear and spurn those who mock law enforcement security cards. Our emigration party departs for Suba Ball in the morning. May the fates favor you. One last thing about your reward. It's not quite finished, and but now I know just what it needs. Please return to the hydropon after my kin have safely reached their new home, and I will give it to you. I will not leave the cradle. Suba Ball have decreased by 600. Newly sentient beings have increased by three. Wow, 20,000 XP, huh? All right, is it done? Okay, let's pass some more time. The Slinther are a very, a very needy bunch, you know? Just passing some more time. I don't know. I, I don't really understand how this reward works. It's curious to see you still here after helping your kin emigrate. Yes, I've decided to stay. I'm sure Super Ball is a good, good home for my kin, but I have no particular loathing for those who mock law enforcement security cards and even less reverence for a law enforcement security card. Someone must look over the cradle besides... The hydropon is even less a village now, but you're welcome to rest here whenever you like. Did I get my reward? Alright, I'm just gonna pass a little bit more time. Stop. Stop loot getting lost. What was that? Oh yeah, legendary songstress. Let's check them out. See if they've got some reputation. They look like they could use some help, actually. We're getting kind of semi-close to leveling up. 
which is kind of nice. What's your rep? Disliked by Snapjaws, disliked by the village of Kyukyu. Kyu Kyu. Like, uh, loved by birds. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm not gonna make friends with them. I have enough bird rep. I am like very. Oh, I should have asked. Oh, did I not ask them where I was? Poor Elder Esselhind. <laughs> oh, there we go. Didst thou truly free one honk of one's place in various ways? Okay, so they just like repeat weird things that they've heard. Okay, let's go back to the hydropon, re return to Tha. So I don't understand at all. What's what's the deal? I I don't think I received a, anything. Um, return to the hydropon once the slinth have arrived at their new home. Maybe I have to go to to Suba Ball. Let's do that real quick. Um, Super Ball is pretty close to Karuk. I'm not gonna make a recoiler there because it's close enough to the to Eid Freehold. Where is Super Ball? Sugar Pad. There it is, Super Ball. Um. Okay. I see some slinth here. I see the slinth have arrived. How are they faring? The slinth are here, and it is a, a slow process for these plant folk and the people of Subabal to grow accustomed to one another. By by the goodness of a law enforcement security card, may the slinth find their place here soon. Thanks. Okay. So now we go back to Eid Freehold. Because that's like right next to Hydropon. Okay, Tha, time to make good on your promise. Why have you asked me to return? I've been crafting a kind of a relic, a piece of art that serves a purpose and that you can carry on your uh, person. I finally finished building it while you were away and the opportunities you offered us inspired the finishing touches. I'd like you to have it. I will cherish it. There it is. And we got an achievement. You received a 10 pointed asterisk, asterisk of Super Ball. Let's just have a quick look at this. Is it in miscellaneous? No. Tools? Quest items? Trade goods? Trinket? There it is. This item doesn't need to be equipped for its effects to be active. Plus six willpower to you and all your followers. Wow. Wow. Um, let me just have a look here. End pointed star. The end pointed asterisk. It's an interesting item. Uh, it's a unique relic. Has the effects dependent on the outcome of the first of those quests. The asterisk confers its effects by being in the player's inventory. It does not require an equipment slot. The power and the nature of its effects are based on the number of a settlement of settlements you agreed to host the slinth. And the settlement that the slinth chose, respectively. The slinth will choose a settlement randomly from among those settlements the player secured as potential settlement locations. More powerful asterisks have more points. For example, a four-pointed asterisk is more effective than the maximal... What? A four-point... Wait, what? More powerful asterisks have more points. Four-pointed asterisk, asterisk is less effect, effective than the maximal ten-pointed. The number of points on the asterisk is equal to the total number of settlements. So, um, in this case, we got a... Um, Chances in an asterisk effect. There's a few of them. Uh, gives a chance for consumed liquids to grant their effects twice. There's some really fun ones in here. This is one of the reasons I, I've been prioritizing this so, so much. Any procedurally generated village. In this, this is the, in this case, it was a procedurally generated village. So a random effect is chosen from the effects above. 
each effect has a 1 in 10 chance of being chosen. So uh, this was a Chava effect, increases the willpower of you and your followers. And the increase is equal to 3 plus in points, uh, points negative 3 divided by 2. So since we had 10 points, um, it was 7 uh, divided by 2, which is, uh, that doesn't really make any sense. So it should have been 7 divided by 2, which should only be like 3, but I'm, it turned out to be 6. I'm not sure how that works or ends, uh, ends up working. Oh no, sorry, 3 plus 7. So it's 7 divided by 2, which is 6, plus 3. So it is it is 6. So we got the maximum amount, and we gained um, an absurd amount of, of willpower. Modified to 31. It says we don't have to wear it, but I'm pretty sure we had quite a bit. Um, let's just try wielding it for a moment and see if our... Yeah, our willpower just jumped up by a lot. But now if I take it off... Uh, where is it? Remove. Do we still keep it? Yeah, we still keep the willpower. I guess I could have just, like, waited a turn. It might have been that it hadn't taken effect yet. But um, now we have 37 willpower. It was like the... Honestly, there were very few uh, abilities that would have helped us as much as that one. That that is like one of the best effects we could have possibly gotten. Willpower, like it's it's just it's a it means a lot. It's important, and for us, like how much how long does it take for clairvoyance to come off cooldown now? Twenty turns. That still feels like a lot. I guess it only came down like two two turns. It was like twenty twenty to twenty four or so before. But, um, you know, like, say, like, let, let, let's look at, uh, charge. Oh, you gotta charge a target. Um, it's fine. Like, force bubble. Has, it takes 18 turns now. So, yeah, willpower, and also, willpower also increases our mental armor. Which is gonna be good for fighting, uh, cycle hunters. So, yeah, this was a big deal. But, um, here... This is where things get uh, really goofy, and I am going to take a moment to do this real quick. I wanted to see, actually, what kind of effect uh, the um, the end-pointed star might have as a, as a Hamza. It's probably not anything, but I still kind of wanted to check it out, just as a- almost as a joke. Plus eight ego. The thought crossed my mind of making this thing a, a like a mental mutant god, basically. Um, it would be it's actually would be kind of difficult to find. Oh, there it is. Plus two to all stats. <laughs> it is the equivalent to a willowy <laughs> data disc. <laughs> um. But you know, it, it's fun. Fun that it uh, is a thing we could we could add. Um, so we just need some sun slag. Where we get that is kind of a mystery. I, I might actually seek out a better option because right now um, sun slag is not turning up. I don't know where we would find it. I guess we would only need one because then we could do the same thing to Sunslag as we do to Cloning Draft. Just like, um, Metamorphic Polygel it. I know we don't have any, but, um, I'm gonna go to Eid Freehold, like, right now and go and buy some stuff between episodes. So, yeah, we'll see. I, I do really want that extra quickness on the, the Golem. It's the last thing we have to do before the Golem is complete. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I have to do. Uh, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.